Yeah. Told me too I mean, he was around his homies. You know how niggas be with around their homies? Niggas be by himself and you shit. All right, we live with it, man. Where we at with it right now? We on 700 Martin, man. You know the fuck okay. going on. We on the belly with it. We on the south side, man. Okay, that's what it is, man. That's what it is, dog. So how, how you feeling about all, everything going on right now with the George Floyd joint? You know what I'm saying? Shit, just been served. And just been served, caught locked up. You feel me? We did our thing. We towed this shit up. We like supposed to do. Yeah. Made a statement, you feel me? Show them we gonna stick together. Goddamn, it is what it is. We want that shit. Most definitely. I'm proud of that shit. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, you from the south side of Raleigh, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what, I mean, what was it like for you growing up on the south side of Raleigh? What was your childhood like? Shit, goddamn fights, goddamn breaking the interns, goddamn mobbing with my, my niggas, you feel me? Like, turned up. Yeah. You feel me? You want everything. A kid from the hood pose to do, you feel me? Fat stuff. Got down. You know, when you go to the hood, you got them get it in, you fight. You might learn how to sell drugs, do that shit, you feel me? But it's gonna you know, turn jits. out something, you'll turn out hood. Get some badass jits, like real, real, real street shit. Project babies for real life. Real hood babies. What what made you get into like the you know, street activities? Like what and what age was you when you first started? Sixteen, you feel me? Cause like I started when I was sixteen, I dropped out of high school, you feel me? Like I knew, goddamn, you turn 16, your mama don't, can't go to jail if you're not going to school. I'm like, fuck it. I ain't going to school, I'm gonna sell weed. Yeah. So I just jumped right in the streets, jumped to the gang and shit, and goddamn, it was up from there. Like, all the time, it was violence. Yeah. It was violence, you feel me? Until I got down, started doing bids, 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 crashing. Yeah. I did my last three and a half year bid for Fresh Beat Burglary, and I changed, changed up doing music. Yeah. I had to change up one time. Yeah. I mean, what? How many times would you say that you've been locked up and shit, man? Like five, six, seven times. Five, six, seven times. But the last, the three-year joint, that was for the breakaway. Yeah, for first Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. Down, stole ten thousand dollars. Got down to get my nigga free, buy my nigga out, and I still got the lady down. You feel me? Just showing loyalty. Yeah. That's step of shit. Man, that's bro. real. Though. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Showing loyalty, bro. If I tell my nigga I'm loyal to my nigga, bro. Yeah. Now, Any means necessary. Thanks, though. Now, my boy, um, I said the wrong name the other day, but not Wa not Tony, but Wavy. Yeah, Wavy. I was talking with Wavy, and he was telling me, like, he was like, yo, these other rappers in Raleigh, you know, they they, they good. He was like, but Southside, he real, he real Raleigh, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, he really got this city behind him. Yeah. And he was like, when he when he had a party, um, you brought hella people out. Like, yeah. hella people was fucking with you. I brought, I brought, brought the whole South out, different, different, like, four different sides of the South. Yeah. You feel me? And they all came, we all came together. Bloods, Crib, Bosses, Neutral, everybody came together. Yeah. We got and did a show, we set it off, set it off, called me on stage, we turned that bitch up. Wavy got down, yeah. tuned me in, yeah. set it off. That's how that's how me and him got in, got down, yeah. started doing business, because of Wavy. Yeah. You feel me? So. How, how you think you got that love like that where you could bring people together? Because, you know, they say in your own city, niggas will hate you more than niggas out of, I grew, out of town. I grew up with having niggas, and then and it's like, I grew up with having niggas. But the ones I grew up with, they blood. And then I came okay crip. So it's like, these are my niggas I grew up with. So I ain't switching on them. I don't give a fuck. You feel me? Like, yeah. they're my dog. So I'm going to put this shit together. We're going to squash shit. We're going to come to an agreement on some shit. And we're going to do it like that. Yeah. So it's like, I brought love from, from the crip side, with the blood side, knowing them. We grew up together. Yeah, that's that's another thing, though. Because, you know, I grew up in Raleigh. You know what I'm saying? I, I stayed in Garner. I stayed over here um, on the north side of Raleigh and all that shit. And, even when I was growing up, I used to see a lot of bloods. I used to see a lot of niggas with red flags. I ain't never see crips like that. What why what made you take that route and you know Shit to be different beer? and then it's like my older brother was blood, you feel me? I seen him do a lot of time, a lot of time, so I was like, shit, I'm gonna goddamn be crip, see you feel me, see the outcome on this side. Yeah. You feel me? But it was the same shit, getting locked up, niggas tell you do this, that, you feel me, all that. So it's like it really won't nothing. It's like I just took this side just to be different, really. Yeah. It's still the same shit, still game. Most definitely. Now the heavy metal joint, I know you got that joint out. You dropped a couple of songs with set it off and shit. Yeah. You dropped know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how how that shit come about though, man? Shit, my nigga Wavy got down to me in with bro. Then got that man bro start doing business. Me and yeah. bro did a song, to be hot was our first song we did. You feel me? Drop that song that night, next day we did a video, like two days, which was two days to do it, you feel me? Yeah. Hey boy, half and half, we looked out. Yeah, that's real though. Some gang shit. Set up definitely, you know what I'm saying, fuck with the people, okay. seeing like. Now, you know, when, when I when I post about, you know, crazy shit going on in Raleigh, 
you know, you got some people in the in the comments. It seemed like people be saying like Raleigh soft compared to the other cities in in uh, North Carolina. What? How you be feeling about that shit though? They ain't never been down here. And they don't know how we live, so they can't say that. You feel me? Just come come down here and say that. You feel me? Don't be on the internet saying capping that shit. Cause we gonna show you how we live down here. Yeah. We gonna put that pressure on you. We gonna for where you from? You ain't from here. Yeah. We, we at home. We gonna win at home. Dang. <laughs> Every right. time. Dang, we ain't worried about none of that. We were street niggas Raleigh, for real. Raleigh real, you feel me? Hey, my boy used to call him Kimbo Slice for real, like, not yeah. off the out for real. Like. Word up, so you was really, you was really banging him? Like, yeah, like, how I mean, you got that fighting? name, Kimbo Slice? He was hard. Yeah, how you got your... I mean, gang shit, fighting at school, like, fighting everywhere, like, and the niggas like, bro, you knocking shit out, bro. That's how Kimbo Slice be, bro. Like, fuck, they gonna call you Kimbo, bro. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah, the whole through high school. <laughs> And got them the rest, so I just took the name, boom. Yeah. So I had to stand up on the name, oh, that means I was goddamn fighting everything. Hey, I yeah. was going to the yard. Nigga said Kimbo head, but a nigga put him to sleep. You, you head, but a nigga? Yeah, yeah. but a nigga put him to sleep. Like, mm -hmm. right yeah. That's, have you ever lost one, though? Yeah, nah. You ain't never lost at all? Nope, I get yeah. I'd have been dazed, I'd have been close. Got them get knocked out, but it's like, bro, mm -hmm. if I see I get all that, I'm a goddamn, I'm a slang. Yeah. Let's be dirty. Oh, okay. My nigga Keys. Yeah. 700, baby. Okay. Now what, what was the experience like for you when you was in there and shit, man? Like, is it really like how they be making it on the movies and shit? What? Like, you know how Prison. they, yeah, like niggas throwing piss on niggas and nah, shit. Nah, that shit happened. Man. Niggas throw piss shit on CEOs and all that shit, but not us, you feel me? Yeah. Niggas get stabbed, all that, all that shit. Bitch, like, all that shit be happening in prison. That shit real, you feel me? Niggas don't be getting no rape and shit, you feel me? Niggas be already gay as hell, you feel me? Yeah. Don't be doing rape and shit. That shit, that shit, that's, that's nah, movie shit. Off. You feel me? Niggas get stabbed and all that gang shit, that's, that's, that's real shit. Yeah. And they say, like, I'm, I remember one of my homeboys, he was telling me that, like, you can get drugs in there just like how you get on the streets and shit. That shit you get there. drugs, you get phones, you can get ass, all that in prison. Just like the streets, you feel me? There ain't nothing changed. As long as you got that bag, you good. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Bitches gonna fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Niggas got money, so it's the same shit. You feel me? All that shit can get in there. Yeah. Now, what's your opinion on the, the Raleigh hip hop scene right now? You know what I'm saying? And compared to, like, back then, too? Because I know shit, you probably. Back then, they had Shook 200 in there, you feel me? Not two ways. It was turned, you feel me? They just didn't have a platform to really push the shit, you feel me? Now, we coming up, Raleigh, we got the platform, we got more, more openers, you feel me? More technology, you feel me? So we can push more, and Raleigh, we turned up, you feel me? That's why I'm just gonna knock down the door for my niggas, and then, you know, I know we're gonna come through. Yeah. We the South. Yeah, who you listening to, though, man? Like, on, like in Raleigh and shit, you know? Like, who's some of the artists that you. I listen to my, I listen, I listen to Keys, I listen to Tweezy, I listen to Jacko, I listen to A Cash. Yeah. I listen to Marley, Skinny P. I listen to uh, FIU, Snacks and them. Okay. You feel me? Uh, I listen to uh, 7.30 Joe. Okay. I said it all in front of Raleigh. You talking about Raleigh? Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Uh, I listen to goddamn, I still got Shook. Yeah, you got, you got Shook, we got Shook 200. Shout out, baby, you got, I, listen, I still listen to all that old shit. You feel me? We got yeah. old rappers. Who, who, who would you say is like in your top five Raleigh rappers of all time though? I got Shook 200, I got, I, I fuck with goddamn. Screw. I fuck with. I fuck with goddamn. I fuck with tight. Okay. OG. Yeah. Goddamn. Shit, bro. I got way so many rapper bros back in the day, bro. I got me up there, and I got the South up there. You feel me? That's it. Wallway. Wallway too. Wallway Pat. Yeah, Wallway Pat. Yeah, Wallway Pat. Like, yeah, he a legend, bro. Like, yeah. He put, it, he put it probably on. Yeah. Now you, and this is your, this right over here, this is where you grew up at, right? Yeah. So I know, you know, back in the day, I used to go to Word of God, and I remember going to John house over here and shit. Mm -hmm. Did you know John, like, coming? I know you, you younger, John, ain't you? Yeah, I'm 20, I'm 27. Okay, all right, so yeah, you Yeah, I knew saying. John from Boys in the Girls Club, but I never really, really knew him. They would have called him Crazy J, yeah. me, but I really didn't know him like that, but I knew him through Bill Thomas and Ron Williams. That was the coaches at Boys Club. Okay. John know them. So that's how I knew him through them. But they like, he an animal with the handles, he a dunk on you do. And I started meeting them through uh, Huawei Pat, Huawei C Note, and Huawei Tugo. The yeah. Huawei family, I met him through them more. It's that man, man, John talk on the record. Oh, well, that's what it is though, man. That's what it is. Now, you know what I'm saying? It's goddamn June right now. What you got them, what you think? Shit, like, what like, you working shit, on? Like 28 days, I'm dropping Real Warfare 2, July 3rd. I got that shit coming. I got We The South EP. I'm gonna have everybody from the South up there. And got them drop dead on platforms. And then we got shows about to come back up. I got 
video, that video, that video, just keep watching. Yeah. Every week I'm gonna drop one with merch. 40, 50 visions, I'm fucking with merch. Yeah. With merch. Had this quarantine shit been kind of slowing you down though, man? Like, as far as It slowed me down with money, but made me get more money, you feel like I could save. You yeah, you me? ain't got it now going I'm out. Now I'm really ready to goddamn go, go in. Yeah. Go off on anything, so. Yeah. It made me goddamn really get my hustle right and, and save on the quarantine shit. So now I'm ready to goddamn turn up on anything. Okay. Who else you um you, you want to work with in the Carolinas that you haven't worked with yet? In the Carolinas, I'm gonna fuck with Slime Food. I'm gonna fuck with Glock Boy. Feel me? Me and YBT might do something. Okay, that's tough. Yeah. Well, I might I might do something while it's being there, but I I ain't decided. Really. Yeah, it is what it is. You just focus on yourself right now. I'm focus on my I'm focus on my little Most definitely, man. Shit. Yeah. So, I I know we did the interview the other day. But that shit ended up getting a race because my damn memory card fucked up. And you and on the way over here, you was telling me about like how, what went down over there and shit, yeah, bro. Right. A lot of shit be going on in Raleigh, though. A lot man. of shit be going on. A lot of shootouts, everything. Like Raleigh, wicked right now. Like you gotta keep that strap. Yeah. When well, you caught lack, like shit real right now. Everybody on ten. Yeah. Like, niggas that, getting broke. Niggas need money, so niggas don't got damn who they want to do. They mad. Yeah. yeah. Have you have you ever been in a situation where you probably could have like. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was shit. two dollars I could have died in, but it's like on the hospital, I don't know, I it's God, you feel me? Like got me away from that, but the other time was been gone. Yeah. What about like in the, like your homies and shit? How many have you how many people would you say you lost like to the system? I lost or, like, like, people to the system, like this thing, like people just drop like yeah, flies now, bro. It's crazy. Over ten plus. On both sides. Dead yeah, and jail. Yeah. Feel me, like, feel my brother certified, feel my brother really cool. Feel me, like they doing a hell of a time. Feel me? So many people, bro. Like, I'm trying to get everybody goddamn free, everybody RPs in my shit. Because, but it's so many, like, be hard to think. Yeah. Shit, is there anything else you want to, you know, let the people know about before we sign out, man? You already know the fuck going on. We the South, man. SSGM, you know, South Side. You find me over on the South, bro. We coming, bro, through the door. Like, it don't matter. We all pushing, we all moving no pressure. You feel me? We out here on the hood every day trying to get this money, so ain't no capping this shit. Yeah, I'm coming out this bitch.